New video has surfaced that comes from the cell phone of Sandra Bland, showing the moment she begins talking to a state trooper who pulled her over for failing to signal. Her family believes the video proves Bland's case should be reopened, but investigators disagree. Here's Stephanie Whitfield with the very latest. This traffic stop in Waller County sparked protests four years ago. Get out of the car! And for the first time, get out of the car! We're seeing Sandra Bland's arrest from her perspective inside the car. The video was obtained by the nonprofit Investigative Network. For a failure to signal, you're doing all of this for a Get over there! Bland died three days later in the Waller County Jail. Her death ruled a suicide. But Bland's family says her cell phone video changes everything. I have a right to record this. They claim it was withheld by investigators. Now state representatives are asking why. Typically all evidence that's deemed relevant um, comes out at the time. So we'll have to look further into why this was withheld. But those involved in the investigation say this is not new evidence. DPS sent a statement saying the video recording from Miss Bland's cell phone was specifically identified multiple times in the Ranger report of investigation. The Ranger report was made available to all the litigants during the civil litigation filed by her family. Her property, including this phone, was given back to the family uh, years ago. Chip Lewis is former Trooper Brian Insinia's lawyer. He was indicted for perjury, but the charge was dropped in exchange for Insinia never working in law enforcement again. The tragedy that was this young lady's death should have never happened. It was not Trooper Insinia's fault that it happened. As for reopening the case, that decision lies with the Waller County DA. Elton Mathis tells us the investigation was handled diligently and quote, I have no knowledge at this time of new evidence to second guess the work of those five special prosecutors or the grand jury. Stephanie Whitfield, KHOU 11 News.